Hey, bi-weekly battlers, I'm on silence and we're on the air with more Formula 1 2009 for the PSP, not the Wii version. After all, me and motion controls might go badly. But yes, we're on episode 6, which means we're on round 6 of the challenge mode. It's uh, 6 of these challenges that we must play before we get to the special challenge at the end of it. Of course, uh, we're going to secure not once, but... No, just once. Never mind. <laughs> I was hoping we were going to go to Bahrain twice, just like in real life, but we aren't. But we are going to go to the Nuremberg Ring, just like in real life. The Osmarina Circuit, just in real life. Budapest, which they've been to. Shanghai, which we skipped for obvious reasons. And Suzuka, which, again, we skipped because they wouldn't let F1 in the country. So, let us have a go at it. Because we're going to start in Bahrain with the Zakir. Can we call it the Zakir Grand Prix? So what do we got? We got ourselves a Ferrari, which is good! Because if you recall from the very early days of the Zakir uh, International Circuit... Ooh, he's moving in on me. I always hate this run to the first turn. Is this a reverse grid race? Hit Rubens because we have to park the bus in order to get around the damn thing without hitting anyone so all that space I made up instantly lost oh that was break at the hundred too not having a good start here uh, no what is it gonna say the uh, remember if you remember I was gonna say we've, we've done this before in this in this uh, let's play and I struggled with it. Not one of my better circuits is Bahrain. Usually I'm not this bad though. We'll dump a bunch of the uh, curs here. See if the game will let me catch up. I don't think it's... But yeah, if you recall, right back when this place first opened up, I want to say Shell had consulted somewhere along the way. Oh man, that's deceptive. Not going well. Still ahead of McLaren. But no, uh, I want to say Shell had some tie-in with this place, with the asphalt and whatnot. So... Ferrari and Bridgestone had all the data they needed to when they showed up here. So they had a decided advantage over everyone else. I don't get it. Break at the start of the curb and you stop in time, but you, you go other places and, like, you break earlier and it doesn't slow you down. So bizarre. We got through that better this time, though. Might have hit Alonso slightly. But oh, it stopped me dead there. I got hit with a slowdown. Now, we'll make some progress. We aren't going to win this, but... At least make some progress. Game's massive uh, catch-up logic is certainly helping us out here. At least it's uh, catching up for me, anyway. Just gonna try and catch up on uh, 2016 Formula One World Champion Nico Rosberg. The Williams had started it all for him. There was a nice cut down the inside. Shockingly, Rosberg behind Hamilton. And was the case? Was it last week or the week before? Okay, now we're just going to dump the boost. So we made our way up to the top five. Button just one second ahead of me, but I don't see the top three. Where's the podium, guys? They're well in the front there. There we go. We'll get one. Is that Glock? I 
Hit that perfectly. So now just, what, two Red Bulls in front that we gotta chase down? Way too early in the season for the Red Bulls to be this fast relative to the Bronze. Unless there's a Massa up there as well, but I don't think... I think he was behind us at the start, so we would have just held him up a treat. So we're going to just dump a pile of boost here. Oh my god, I've been hit by Vettel. And we got... Truly? In a Toyota? What's this shit? He probably would have been fine if we didn't get hit by Vettel, but... Yeah, I don't think we're going to get Truly, which is a shame, but... We finally got it figured out. Well, we're going to just dump everything and still fall a little short. How the hell does one of those cheating Toyotas get up there? I wasn't expecting that. Are we going to get an F for this? A B? I wasn't expecting that. You're gonna get a lot of those, I feel. Well, we got gates we gotta worry about. Two gates. And a cornering, which will be a C. And drafting, which will be a B. Well, let's overtake some cars at Nürburgring. Hey, one of these has to go well, right? Of course, the problem is, is that it's not a great overtaking circuit as Nürburgring. You've got about three corners you can really do it at. This is one of them here. Oh, son of a... We wrangled it in. Excellent! This is not one of the places where you pass a car, but we just did it in the Force India. The former Spiker Midland Jordan. And the future Racing Point and Aston Martin. Alright. Charge down to the Lord's This Hairpin, which is the second place I would say is a potential overtaking spot. A little more trickier than the first, cause this is not an overtaking spot. So we're gonna let the Red Bull have the room here. Probably lose a little time there as a result. Oh, it's an STR. Never mind. We'll dump a good chunk of the boost here as we charge down towards the chicane and take the chicane correctly for once as we go around the Renault down to Coca-Cola Curve the chicane being the third of the good passing spots on this track by the way yeah I dumped that uh, curves early because the uh, start finish line is very early on the straight I mean, we're, we're talking something that feels like it's earlier down the front straight than is at uh, Richmond. The NASCAR Oval for our international audience, which has its start-finish line slightly closer to turn four than it does to turn one. Whereas usually, they put the start-finish line sort of in the middle of the track. So it is a little, so it is equidistant from the exits of turn one and four. Use that little squirt of curse to try and get past that, and successfully, I might add, get past the Toyota before we reach the Schumacher S. Now we'll get seven here as we head down towards the chicane. We'll have to take. Ah, oh, come on, yep. Yeah. Braun just kind of like, you're on a run, right? 
and so decides just to block you. If this was real life, he would have been thrown out of the sport for that. So we'll get seven. It's not bad. Although I, I've got this bad feeling we're going to get a string of bees or worse. I'm hoping we get an A on this, but... Oh, we got a one star, eh? There we go. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting. All right, so slip streaming at Yas Marina Circuit. Actually, this is probably one of the best. Mm, well, is it better than Monza for slip streaming? Realistically, no. In the terms of a video game, yes. Because there's enough slow corners, you could just draft them coming out of the slow corners. Oh, we're in the BMW. There's the lead BMW, as you can tell by the red camera. Over the roll hoop. And the lower number. This is number five, and the other one would be number six, therefore. It's so weird. I don't know where I'm going because it's in the daytime. Hey, that would be one way to... That would be one way to uh, change things up in the... Uh... That would be one th way to change this up if they... W they aren't doing back-to-backs at uh, Yas Marina. This would have been one of the places where I would have been okay with it because they've got multiple layouts. Well, I guess they got it at Bahrain as well, even if all the other layouts seem to suck relatively. So I've mentioned the endurance circuit before. Now we're up behind the other BMW. Somehow survived that. And it let me corner cut a bit, which is also a bonus. So we're up to exactly 1,800 points. Now if we could just catch up, I think that was a Renault up in front. It's hard to tell. It's the glare off the sun that you're not used to because, you know, it's the daytime. I find that so interesting that they included daytime Yas Marina. Was this the first season for it? I don't know. Eh, could it have been? It could have been. That triggered very early there. There's no gravel there. This must have been based on... Yeah, this must have been, like... Based on, like... The circuit before it was actually, like... First raced on an F1 because there's no lights on the side. There's no... There's all sorts of gravel. This is tricky. Oh, we've got no points for that. Oh, at least didn't reset my multiplier. I was going to say, that seems a lot mm, shallower than it does in real life. Now we're on to the final lap. Not the last lap, but one, but the actual final lap. He says, repeating the same joke that he makes every single time that we come out here to F1 2009. With the classic Murray Walkerism. Yeah, it's de 
I was going to say, I don't think there was any gravel ever r really around here. Not in this quantity, anyway. Certainly not uh, on the chicane before the hairpin. I would have remembered that because it was what... Because it was what Hulk that ended up upside down there. Was it last year or two years ago that he did that? Unfortunately, we're not going to get this cheating Toyota in the slipster. Oh, we might. We get the cheating Toyota there in the slipstream. Uh, let's see if we can. I'm not saying we're quite in. Oh, we've got in range for a couple points, a couple points. And we're just trying to be very ginger about this. That way we can get a few more points. Sneak around the outside. Shortcut that, but it doesn't matter. And across the line. And that'll be a B again. Well, I'm nothing if not consistent at those slipstream ones. Now we're going to show how consistent we are at cornering by scoring a C here. Now, if I understood how the cornering worked in this game, like the cornering scoring worked in this game, there's all the potential in the world to actually get a good score here. So counting this is, is all one turn. There we go, so we'll hit... Yeah, I don't... We've got two OKs. Oh, we got a good there. Wow. Decent exits, maybe? There we go through that. Oh, an excellent through there. I thought it was going to be too busy patting me on the back to score points for that. Oh, that doesn't count, really? Well, up yours, video game. I say I took that about as well as one could hope for. We'll just burn down some curves there and across the line. So what's our score? 41 and change. That's a good score. B. Oh, wow! We scored our best. In one of those cornering things. I'll take that. So, let's, uh... How have we done on gates? There's an A in the gates there. There's an A in gates down there. And that that's... Oh, okay. So we, we usually do good at gates. Hopefully, for the sake of symmetry, we can get an A there and a B there. We'll take the Renault there. Around for a lap around Shanghai. Now, this is going to be a pain in the ass because they're very bad at placing these, as we found the last time out. As you can see, because that was... Not where I usually take this turn. So. And again, that's a little offline. And no, no gates through that entire hairpin. But of course, they will have an... A massively offline gate in that S. It's just like it throws me completely off there. That one was mildly tolerable. 
That was fine because of where the previous gate was. Now let's see where we are through. And in the middle of the straight for some reason. Again in the middle of the straight. So where's this? Uh... Who's like... This is like, whoever put these in here has never heard of a racing line. And it's mildly aggravating as a result. Well, the good news is it's only one lap, so we can get in and get out. Hopefully lacking pain. Hey, one star, we'll take it. Now we'll get to uh, Gates at Suzuka. If I thought Gates at Shanghai was painful, Suzuka, the S's? Any of those turns. God, could you imagine Degner's with like a random thing on... Oh, let's see, in between Degner 1 and 2, we're going to have a gate on the inside. Oh, and the spoon, we're going to have one like on the inside in between the two lefts. 130R, rim right around the outside. The Kyle Larson line It's like, God, I, I'm going to hate this. It's caught me on a bad mood because I'm I just played Doom 64 and I give Night Dive Studios who made the the Doom 64 port to you know update port I give them a hard time because like they just lean too much on certain tropes that aren't fun in a Doom game We're just going to spam enemies at you to eat ammo. And we're going to do it by teleporting them in rather than, you know, placing them intelligently. So. There's a lot of gates here relative to what we saw at... Um, what we saw at Shanghai. Which is interesting. I wonder why they've gone this method. Like, it's just gate after gate after gate. I would expect this from... I'd expect this from, like, you know... Is there something... There wasn't, like, gates or anything like that in Crash Team Racing or anything, was there? I don't think so. I should remember. I played the shit out of that game growing up. And, as well, I was... Uh... I've gone a bit offline here. I'm spending so much time worrying about driving between the green lights that I'm not... You know, concentrating on my race line. Or racing technique. Or anything. Had to break there. Come on. Well, what do you expect? You want me to miss the apex by about five feet. I mean, what, what do you want me to do there, video game? Kind of annoying in that regard. So 52-3 with the three-quarter second penalty. Holy symmetry, Batman. Special challenge unlocked, but... The two reds on top, the two reds on the bottom, and the single star yellow uh, A's in the middle. I'll be damned. So Sao Paulo head-to-head -head -head with Phil Massa. May not go necessarily particularly well. Phil, usually pretty good at Interlagos. This is Sao Paulo, and you're going head-to-head -head against Ferrari's Felipe Massa. Except I'm driving Felipe Massa's car, Jeff. I'm pretty sure he drove, maybe he got the three because he was ahead in the Drivers' Championship in 2008. But I always associate the, the even number, the lower number, or the, I guess the higher number, sorry. The number two car number. How about I phrase it that way? I've always associated that with Masa. So 
So we're keeping Phil at bay for the moment. He's, I can hear him up the inside. Well, that's it's two laps. Well, we're fine for the moment. Didn't get out of there particularly well, but we've got all our curves saved up. Which we should have used on the run down to turn three. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dump it all. And apparently make absolutely no room on Phil here. Got hit with a slowdown there. Alright, we'll hit a little boost there. Lost some more time thanks to the slowdown. And this is where he caught us up the last time, just accelerating out of the turn four there. I'm a little faster through the second sector here. Which we're going to use to our advantage. He's right beside me, I think. I think he might be behind me. Well, bad news. We're out of... We're out of curves. But we will hold him off and across the line. Wasn't expecting that to turn itself around in the final two sectors, but by God, it did. And then we get up. See, we won the freaking race. Up yours, video game. You had to give me a C somewhere, didn't it? Ah, oh, well, bastards. Anyway. <laughs> what have we got next time out for uh, round number seven of the challenge mode? We're going to Monza for Tuj. Okay. I think that's a new one. But it's just a beat your rival in a race. So it's a head dead challenge. Don't cause a collision or you'll suffer a tie penalty. Uh oh, we've got Kamikaze AI who's just going to hit me repeatedly to cause a tie penalty. Gates at Sao Paulo. Hmm. Cornering at Suzuka? Ugh. Slipstream at Shanghai? Oh, it's just a murderous row. My greatest hit, or my favorite ones here. Oh, racing at Kuala Lumpur. And then the Eliminator. Da -da 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 at Valencia. And then whatever the special challenge is at the end. But I think we're, we're starting to see, like, Sao Paulo, that was new for this one. Like, I'm just trying to think. Valencia, we might have done once before, right? Yeah, Valencia there. We're starting to see new new tra new tracks integrated. I don't know if we've... No, Montreal wasn't in this season, right? Uh, but we haven't seen Monaco yet. I imagine that's going to be down at the at the pointy end of this. And I'm trying to think, what are some other circuits that we haven't seen a lot of? Um, ah, hell, let's just cheat and look at the... Look at the schedule here for a second. I just want to look at the... I don't care. Four day. Uh, let's... Just pick, uh, let's take a look. Okay, we've been there, been there, been there, been there. Uh, have we been there? Yes, I don't want to go there if we haven't. Haven't been to Monaco yet. Have been to Istanbul, have been to Silverstone, have been to the Nürburgring, Budapest, Valencia just the once, but we'll be doing that again. Spa, have we been to that much? I don't think, I think we might have been there once, but not much. Monza, obviously a bit. Singapore we haven't been to either, so that's one that we're going to have to, uh, that we're going to have to, uh, cover off in, in one of these upcoming episodes. We just did Suzuka, and we're getting that some more, and Sao Paulo, and then Yas Marina. So we haven't been to, we know, we know, we know, we haven't been to, uh, Silver, not Silver, uh, Monaco and Singapore. So, those will be coming at the, at the pointy end 
of the uh, of the challenge mode. And we'll see if we unlock that next time on F1 2009. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. And social media handle ease on Silent John Aaron. That is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget you can check out more F1 2009 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos in each time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.